Welcome back to Thin Blue Whiskey. Jimmy went shopping. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> Whoa. And I will say, I have not seen Mm-mm. the cream of Kentucky in Salina at, ever. I did see it in Wichita earlier this year. It was their like $300 single barrel, 14. Mm-hmm. I think it was a 14 year. You know, I ain't shopping for that. I but. almost bought it. But I was with my wife. And I didn't. Fun police. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy was at the liquor store today. Yep. I every time before I come over here and we film, you know, we always have like the pre production meeting. We normally have, you know, a beer or a pour, kind of talk about what we're gonna do. And I showed up with this one. I was like, Tell me you've not seen this before and luckily it just hit our market, like Mike said. It was all by itself on the shelf. And the, the label doesn't really lead you to believe it's going to be, you know, out of this world price. It so says I, double rich on the back of it. Yeah, <laughs> double rich, cream of yeah. Kentucky. I thought if nothing else, we can crack some jokes. You know, it'll be a good <laughs> seven or eight minutes on tape. But yeah, nope, it's new to our area. I was one of the first to get it. So I felt like if I can show up with something these guys haven't had, then, you know, my, my Sunday is complete. So. I have heard some pretty good things about it. Yeah. Like a lot of people enjoy it. Uh, but we... We're trying to do some research on this just before yeah. we hit record. Not a lot. And there is not much out there. So JW Rutledge. Before is you this to hit himself. the you know, the like and the subscribe buttons, maybe you could drop us a comment here yeah. and let us know. Obviously it is it's bottled by the JW Rutledge distillery and mm-hmm. from what i can tell and just the few things that are out there is that he's buying up a bunch of stuff and um it's obviously it's sourced from somewhere but unknown um if you happen to know any rumors of where this thing is sourced from you know drop it in the comments yeah. let us know because this is this okay. is literally we can't give you much of where it comes from we're just going to tell you how it tastes yep so, we're, we're learning on the fly here it is double rich cream of Kentucky. That's right. Pour it up, Jimmy. Let's oh go. This so, is this is you. This. Full full transparency. This was a fresh crack about an hour ago. I wanted to at least try it off air in case it was absolutely garbage. I wasn't going to make these guys suffer. Oh, we through were going to suffer we, through it. We've done some bad things on this channel. <laughs> Let's have that. I can't reach. Oh, oh. we were going to do this no matter wow. what. I thought I poured generously without a jigger. <laughs> Well, guys, I think we all know that Jesus Christ. I've got a slight touch of the shakes and my vision is crap, so you're welcome. Here it is, cream of Kentucky. Don't worry, you got to pick up the kids That's anyway. Right. You're playing, you're you're on dad duty. Yeah. This is a hunter proofer, kind of right where I like to, to be at. Yeah. Not bottled and bond, obviously, but right at 100. So. Yep. Unknown age. Yeah, it's completely, this is a unicorn in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Price about seventy bucks. Yep. This is um, maybe. I think it's, it's a, either it's, it's either the second most expensive bottle I've ever taken. Next to Jack on. Ten. Ten. Yep, and that one's still unopened, but this one's for the channel, for the yep. good of the people. Oh, that's. I think it's got a little better. We, it's changed. It's. I won't say better because I I liked it when it was we pretty French good. cracked it. There's some ethanol mm-hmm. coming off of it. It it's punchy. I also think some burnt brown sugar. It's it's yes. got more of that and more spice than I remember. Yeah, there's definite there's definitely a spice, and I would Again. I would say it's not cinnamon. It's it's a different now, baking we were, spice. Than I think cinnamon. I polluted our our nostrils outside. I had a cigar prior, and I think I might have kind of put us in a different direction. But there's a bit of a. There's a little bit of a, of a grain. It's not a fin- it's not the offensive grain that I don't mm-hmm. like. I I do enjoy this. It smells nice. It did definitely kick up on the baking spice. Now that we're in more of a controlled kind of <laughs> air air. The glass probably has some to mm-hmm. with that. With that, we were drinking out of a rocks glass. But I dig it, man. It's kind of dry. It is dry. This is an. I like it. This is what I kind of prefer. Because it, it doesn't have a lot. You know, I am simple. I like my whiskey simple. <laughs> There's just not a lot to pick apart. This is just, it's good it, whiskey. It smells like it's supposed to. It tastes like mm-hmm. it's, it's a little grainy, a little ethanol-y, a little... It's probably younger than, you know, probably a good three, four year if we're lucky, but... There's a definite vanilla for sh- I mean, 
it's it sucks that I have to say that because vanilla is just about on anything mm-hmm. and everything. But but, yeah, but, it's, but it's it's baking spice and it's vanilla. I'm curious that, and a little bit of grain. A little bit. I'm I'm more curious, and this is where we're kind of reaching out for help. You know the the double rich advertisement on the label. Totally curious as to what that means to the bourbon world. Is yeah. it the less rich version? I don't know. It's a less rich Caribbean too. <laughs> I'll tell you, I did they have more? This was the only one I found. Now, because mm, I would buy where, this. Where I one. found it, it wasn't even labeled on the shelf. When I picked it up, I thought <clears throat> this is either twenty five dollars or like seventy five dollars, because the label's really generic. I mean, it this looks like they kind of the colors are cool, low budget, it looks but nice. It's a standard bottle shape. I mean, mm-hmm. but the. I, I, I it's just the, cool. I wanted something that I you guys dig, didn't have. I dig the metallic blue and yeah. the metallic gold. It like hey, and you the know, black. It looks sharp. It maybe looks by the nice. time this airs, the Royals will be in the World Series. You know, we can get some blue and gold. And, mm. uh, that might be a stretch. Sorry, we'll edit that before we publish. We'll see how the Royals do before we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Anywho, but new to our market, new to Thin Blue Whiskey, yeah, new to uh, us to try. So hey, if you've already had it, you know anything about it. I mean, any of the cream of Kentucky, you know, clearly they this is probably their entry level, and it goes up from there. But hey, man, they do make multiple different offerings. Some are age stated. Mm-hmm. I wish this there was some rumors out there as to this age state, but might have to. Do the taste more. leads me to believe that this thing has got to be a minimum of six to seven years. I, I There's nothing that tastes young about this. It gets away from like the bottle and bond four-year category by a little bit, but it's Well, you can not. still have like a super old bottle and bond. True. It just has true, to meet true. certain standards and requirements. At least yeah, four. Yeah, McKenna does it. It still tastes like trash. Wow. Yeah. Slid that one in. Jay's been oh, 10 years ago. hibernating on that. I'm glad you guys got to sample it with I me. I dig it. I'm I, hoping that we got somebody in the, the viewership that knows more and can tell us more. But uh, At $69.99? Yep. <laughs> For, I dig it. This is what I get into. This is you my, buying it? This For is 70 bucks. You're pretty deep in the Double Ridge Cream of Kentucky? Last time I was in Louisville. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what happens in the Ville stays right. in the Ville. <laughs> Oh man, uh, I'm recommending this. I would it's, recommend it. at seventy I it bucks. For... I, I, this is a thumbs up for me. It and was a stretch my, for me. My that's only, why I'm... my only gripe is it's kind of like kind of dry, but mm-hmm. it's really good. It's it's, 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 it's going to keep me from drinking this at any time. Yeah, so. true. And it's dry. If I get a, a dry note on on a whiskey, I I want it to be like leather tobacco mm. and it's not, this is not really it. leather this is tobacco not it. it's more of a dusty grain and, but i like the dusty grain notes okay. i don't like the it's young not, wet grain yeah, it's not bit. moldy grain bin yeah, yeah. bottom of the bin so the dusty grain yeah. kind of yeah. i i get that and i like it so this this actually fits my palate really well well wow. so impressive i dig it thanks man simple you did good simple Thanks, it is man. a little bit pricey. I know you stepped out of your comfort zone. Uh, By a little bit. But this is a good pickup, and I think mm-hmm. you're going to enjoy it. And I think you, the viewer, would enjoy this too. You just got to go into it expecting... Decent Kentucky bourbon. I mean, it's it's not going to overwhelm you, but hey, I don't have anything that looks like that on my shelf today so we have another drink way worse more oh, yeah. expensive we've, than this we've gushed so, on about there's no a, there's a bottle that's behind us it's got a blue label on it that's as expensive i knew we were gonna just as, we haven't we haven't flashed do, that we haven't, so, i haven't thrown it up yet while these guys are digging for that we are going to put together a series <laughs> it'll probably be it. in the depths of winter about like the worst stuff we've ever drank <laughs> the absolute regret series the bad thing is i don't think those whiskeys are allowed back in this house well I think we're, someone said that we're gonna, yeah shaboy was vetoed it'll yeah. be the torture test blind uh, against blind I'm t- I'm not allowing the Shaboy tin. We're back. gonna film it I'm in the bathroom you. around the toilet just <laughs> <We> for <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> we need to do a wheel of shame. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then <laughs> the guys stand there, and the guy behind it just gets handed a glass, and you just gotta oh. go straight to the pallet. And you... well, we've got an international oh the deck ideas of garbage to pick from. But anyway, <laughs> hey, let us know. Yeah, this is a good one. Thanks, good. guys. Thanks, Jimmy, and we'll see you next time right here, Thin Blue Whiskey.